Uh, it's me again, and uh, I'm here again with another piece of encouragement to someone, uh, to myself, and yeah, just to anyone. Uh, I want to talk to us today about being uh, privileged or being gifted. Every one of us have been created with something magnificent, something that makes us stand out, some potential, some gifting. And there are people that, I mean, they were not born gifted, but they worked on, them, on themselves to develop these giftings. And uh, that doesn't make you any better than someone who is still on the path to it. I just get to, you get to a point where people come to to you or people push themselves to learn and because they come to you to, to learn stuff or to ask things from you, you begin to feel like you're superior to them. I mean, nothing we really have, it's ours. It was all given to us. It was all given to us. If you know how to write, I mean, it was it was given to you. If you know how to be uh, to sing, it was given to you. So stop acting as if you did something out of the ordinary to merit this. No, don't get me wrong. I'm not discrediting the place of hard work and at the place of empowering ourselves. I understand it. But whatever we do at the end of the day, we should act humbly because everything we have, it's really a gift. And you sharing it or teaching someone doesn't take anything away from you. Instead, it makes what you know stick better and it makes you want to work on yourself more. It's just amazing how this whole world of likes and, and, and thumbs ups and, and I mean, it's just making people go crazy. It's making us go crazy. You think because you have more likes than me, it makes you better than me. No, what, what we have, we were given. And everything is for a purpose. Blessing people, giving people money doesn't make you poor, no. It makes you richer. Teaching people how to sing because you're gifted doesn't take away the talent from you because it's always there. So, I mean, stop feeling better than some other person. No, it's not right, it's not acceptable. There is no need for comparison. There is no need for striving. There is no need for petty talks and idle talks, no. We might be doing the same thing, but we are different because we have different callings. Uh, I'm a blogger, I'm a beginner blogger, and I began blogging because it's something I got to do in my course of uh, trying to build a career. And I discovered when I began, I had to learn lots of stuff online, and I, I began to ask the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, to help me know what to write per time. And there are times where I have this message so pressed on my heart. I mean, there are many bloggers, thousands, billions of them all over the world. There's a time I have a message so pressing on my heart, and I'm not able to write about it that day. And I tell you the truth, by the time I go through checking my blog or just browsing, I read the same content in different wordings on another blog. That doesn't mean the person copied me, or that, that doesn't reduce the, info, the, the, the wisdom with which my message or the people my message is going to impact. We need to understand that whatever we've been given, it's not just us. Lots of people have what you have. If you want to be relevant, you need to start sharing what you have. And stop acting like a god or a lot over it. Please. We are all gifted or we are agreeing ourselves in different giftings and potentials. What I want you know is want us to know is that I want to encourage someone. It's not about comparison. It's not about people striving with you. It's about you meeting a need because you are here to meet a need. It don't matter how many people are doctors, we'll keep having doctors till the world comes to an end. 
It don't matter how many people are, are, are musicians, we will keep having new artists coming up each day. The planes, every plane, planes fly in the sky and you never hear of them crossing parts. We are all flying, we have our different levels. We're doing the same thing, but we have our unique callings. So, because people come to you or wanna ask you stuff, it doesn't make you more adequate than them. Nothing we have, it's really ours. That is the message I have for someone. Nothing you have is really yours. Nothing you have is really yours. And sharing what you have doesn't reduce you. Instead, it increases you because it makes room for more to be deposited. Stay blessed. That's my message for today. We'll talk again. Love you.